we are meeting people from all over the world, people that come here in the, Confer in the World Hereford Conference, and we have the chance to know, to discover, and to greet. And this is one of my favorite people ever here <laughs> in La Rural del Prado. He's Larry. Larry, welcome to Uruguay. Thank you very much. First time in Uruguay. You're a farmer. Mm -hmm. A farmer or a, pro a producer? It's a I'm farmer. A, well, farmer, producer is the same thing in Ireland. We don't separate between uh, crops and, and, and livestock, but my farm, my farm is livestock. Well, you have a farm in Ireland. Mm -hmm. You live in the farm? I live on the farm, yes. All farmers in Ireland live on the farm because oh, okay. the farms are much smaller. I think the average size of farm in Ireland is 32.5 hectare. Wow, yeah. So it's only a very, very small. But uh, my farm is a little bit bigger than that, yeah. Yes, it's maybe small related to what we related, know as, yes. as may we, we consider small. Mm -hmm. But is it far away from, from, from towns, important it, towns? Or? It's right in the center of Ireland. Ireland is 350 miles from north to south mm -hmm. and it's 150 from east to west. Wow. We are exactly in the middle. Exactly in the middle. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. This best. Perfect. Yeah. What, your first time in Uruguay, what was your impression as a farmer and that you have already been to Gishu and to uh, other breeders? Yeah, we you, are do life, uh, you do a full cycle, Hereford, mm -hmm. at your place. How yeah. did you see here in Uruguay? Yeah. Well, we were impressed initially by the people, yeah, and uh, the friendliness of the people. Mm -hmm. and then we were impressed by the resource, resourcefulness of the people because the rains come. Yes. Yeah. You thought you were coming to sunny Uruguay sunshine, and suddenly... Yes. <laughs> the flag says sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a few jokes. Yeah, we had a little joke. <laughs> With yeah. the flag. In Ireland we like to joke also, yes. yeah. But yes. So it rains and it rains and it rains. But somehow nobody gets upset. Uh, alternative plans are made quickly. Yes. And everybody is happy and a glass of wine and some food, some good hair for beef. Everybody and is everything nice, went nice perfect. and relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you, uh, that is on the side of, of, of the people and the country mm -hmm. and the culture and you find it nice and, and you liked it. And what about the breed, the, the product? cattle, yes, we, we were, were quite impressed with the product. Yes, we, 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 we first we visited the Kiwi, Kiwi, yes, Kiwi, Kiwi, in San Jose. Kiwi um, Performance Test Center. Yes. It's uh, quite like a performance test center we have in Ireland, but in Ireland all our testing is done indoors, Yes. not on grass like you do here. Okay. And so uh, it's quite interesting to see it. And the, the other thing which impressed us was that all animals in the test, whether they were the top animals mm -hmm. or the lower animals, less performing animals, everything was available to view. Mm -hmm. So we did not see just the best, we saw everything, which was very good too. And what is the most frequent question that a Uruguayan breeder made to you, coming from Ireland? Did they make a question or did it something that you do could add to the work we do here in Uruguay? Uh, I suppose they, 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 they are interested in, in performance and performance recording and interested in new technology. Mm -hmm and uh, particularly in, in genomic test technology. Yes, and, yes. And uh, we, we in Ireland, we're, we have a lot of research done on, on, on genomic technology and, mm -hmm. and um, we tell ourselves, we always like to tell ourselves we're very good, but we tell ourselves that we're well advanced. Uh, we have um, tested, uh, genomically tested 300,000 animals mm -hmm. in Ireland at the moment, which is probably the largest number that have been genomically wow. tested in any country in the world. Totally. And we are just a very, very small country. But intensive, an intensive mm -hmm. way intensive, of producing. Yes. Well, uh, if I go to, to <coughs> Ireland, what, what, uh, how do you recommend uh, me to eat your meat? And yeah. what? Because here, if I take you to eat, and you should have tasted the way we barbecue our meat and mm -hmm. what we eat, did you, do you eat everything? The chorizo, the mojeja, yeah. or just the meat? Do you we know don't what I'm talking about? We don't, have, we, don't have, we don't have the chorizo. We don't have chorizo. Would no, you we export chorizo? You we, ex chorizo we, ex we export 90% of what we produce. Yes. 
uh, and our principal market is the UK. Yes. Okay, and uh, then to continental Europe. But uh, we have we have branded her for beef in Ireland mm. because we have so many breeds. We have Charlet, Limousin, uh, Semmental. Do you have only Hereford in your establishment, oh, only, or do you oh, have crossbreeding? Only Hereford. Only Hereford. Only Hereford. So you Because I, I, I also work with the, the Hereford Society. Mm -hmm. So for me to have any other breed... It would be impossible. Would not be possible. No, it would not be possible. Definitely not. Definitely not. Larry, nice, very nice meeting you. I, the thing is that I'm going to tell the public is that we were, I was walking here along the streets and I know that Jose Bonica, who is part of the President Secretary of Hereford in Uruguay and the world, and he told me, you have to meet Larry. And we met by chance. Uh, and and, and uh, interestingly, uh, Pepe's, Pepe's daughter has been to visit us I know. in Ireland. Yes. So because you are so such a, a very little family. Yeah. <laughs> so she can tell uh, she can tell things maybe I might prefer. <laughs> <laughs> so please be quiet. I mean not talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Larry, very much. Thank and you hope very to much. to see you next time in New Zealand and the thank next World Hereford Conference. Thank you very much. It's been a most enjoyable visit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.